Welcome back to Fun with Fusion 360. In this video, we will be understanding event simulation by using a real world example. I will be So now, let's simulate and see a very similar instance using event simulation in Fusion 360. So now let's get started. I have done a basic model of a hammer as well as a table carrying a body. You can see it here. So I'll go to the simulation workspace. I will say event simulation and say create study. I'll go to the simplify. I'll move the hammer. So that it is close to the table. Say OK. I'll say finish simplify. I'll select my rigid bodies. Here the rigid bodies will be the two tables here as well as the hammer. I'll say OK. I'll go to my structural constraints. I'll fix what all is required. I'll fix all these. I'll say OK. So I'll go to my uh, prescribed rotation. The rotation here will be the hammer, it will be angle components, it will be in the direction RY. I will give it a maximum constraint of around 60 degrees in the RY direction. Go to the multiplier curve, I will add a magnitude, I will say OK. So now I'll go to the initial linear velocity. I'll select again the same body. So it is not linear velocity because it should be an initial angular velocity. I'll go to this body, uh, direction type, location reference. So it will be rotated with respect to this reference. And direction, uh, if I select this, you can see that it's rotating like this, but we don't want it like that. I want it in the y direction. So I'll select a plane which is along the y direction. And the velocity component here, uh, I'll give it a magnitude of about 300 degrees per second. And I'll say OK. So we are done with constraints and loads. We'll go to the material. The hammer uh, will make it as steel high strength structural. We can select only non-linear metal library in the fusion in the event simulation. And this thing, which the part we're hitting, will make it a low strength aluminium. And the other two as well will make it as a steel high strength structural. I'll say okay. After materials, I'll go to the global contacts. I'll create a global contact between everyone. I'll also create uh, manual contacts between these both they will be bonded as well as these both i don't want to bond anything else i'll say okay you can go to our degree of freedom view everything is fixed say close already reference same direction so what i'll do is i'll go to the constraints i'll remove this fixed Now I'll say solve. One eternity late. So our result is complete. Go to the front view. Let's take few steps back to see how the deformation has happened amazing you can see the stress displacement reaction force strain acceleration and as well as velocity you'll see the animation Okay. 
you can see the maximum force applied here was 132 MPa on the plate So this is how uh, to do an event simulation. I'll say finished results. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys understood on how to apply rotation constraints and loads to an event simulation. Do like and share if you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe.